god, what is it? We need to go. What? The... Is, where... oh, is that a mermaid? Where is that? You see it? Oh, it is. Hi, I'm James LaFer, and you're watching the Impossible Channel. Welcome aboard. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. From mind-blowing videos to unexplained and mysterious phenomena, you're in for a ride. Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. When it comes to asking the question, how much do we know about our world? It seems like we know a lot. Humans in the past hundred years have categorized thousands of new species and plants. And it seems like every day we find and discover new species to categorize. It's like it's a never ending cycle. Our world is huge. The oceans, the vastness of the rivers and forests. It's like there is always something new for us to discover. And it would be of no surprise to me at least if at some point in time we find out that we were living all along with some other type of humanoid intelligent creature, like for example Sasquatch, Bigfoot or any other one that is considered a myth. We need to go for a pop-up. Maybe it's those tweakers. What? A couple of days ago, Instagrammer Luke Duncan, who usually posts videos and pictures of him fishing in Florida, uploaded a video to Instagram of what's supposed to be an encounter with a very bizarre and unknown creature. Luke Duncan had never posted any video of this sort before on his Instagram account. It's all about videos and pictures of him fishing with his friends, it seems like he's really good at it. In other words, he knows his way around the lakes, rivers. He's probably seen and heard all types of strange things in rivers and lakes. Oh, is that a mermaid? Where is that? You see it? So it is. But this time, neither him or his buddies could explain exactly what it was that was going on here. Luke Duncan writes. God sent this video by a buddy of mine from Florida. What in the actual Bigfoot Chupacabra Yeti is going on next to this lake? I've damn sure never heard anything like this before. Well, after posting this video to Instagram, it almost instantly went viral. This is what his buddy caught on camera. Whatever it is that Luke's friend caught on camera, it sure scared the heck out of him. And not only him, comments were pouring down like, what the heck is this, Luke? I've never heard anything like this before, it gave me the chills. Internet users were divided. Some say that it could be a cougar, a panther, or even a bear. While others say that this could actually be Bigfoot or maybe something else. I'm not too sure though, I've never heard anything like this before. What I do know is that Luke, as an experienced fisherman has never heard anything like this and neither did his friends. So what the heck is going on here? What's your take? Now when it comes to strange phenomena, Colombia is a place where many of them have been captured on camera in the past decade. I'm not sure why. What I do know is that in the past, I've featured many intriguing videos of what's supposed to be mysterious lights in the sky. And to this day, no one knows what they are.
it's not very different with this next video that we're about to watch. That happened in a very small town called San Pedro de Cartago in Colombia. San Pedro de Cartago has a very small population and it's a city very close to the mountains and many national parks. A couple of weeks ago, a Facebook profile by the name of Nuri Realpe posted a very intriguing video of what's supposed to be a humanoid figure that apparently appeared in the clouds on April 2022. This is what happened. No. Whatever is going on here, it appears that we can see some sort of light source on top of the mountain behind the clouds and it seems to be moving somehow. And whatever it is that's reflecting onto it, we can see what appears to be a humanoid shape forming in the clouds. No. What makes it all really strange is, where is this light coming from and why is it moving? Now it's not just in Colombia that these mysterious phenomena are captured on camera. Sergio Pedro Rodriguez's Facebook page posted a very strange video where his daughter captured a bizarre object that was floating around their neighborhood at night. In this video, we can see what appears to be a balloon at first, but when they realized that it wasn't a balloon, they started recording immediately and captured this on camera. No, no, I'm scared. It's strange, Andrea. It's very strange. Because you're not scared. If you notice closely in this video, there is no wind. Not only that, it's a cloudy day and whatever this object is, it's silent and it's traveling quite fast to be a balloon. So what is it? Someone posted a brightened up version of the video online and this is what can be seen. Whatever this thing is, it doesn't look like an ordinary balloon, but I could be wrong. The exact video location is unknown. What I do know is that it was most likely recorded in Portugal. Have you ever seen anything like this before and what's your take? Is it a balloon or is it maybe something else? A couple of weeks ago, I uploaded a video on YouTube that talked about skinwalkers. I'm not too sure why, but in the past couple of years, it's a subject that has been trending on social media. Alright guys, I think it's time to go in and get ready for a bath. Okay? Some people believe they have encountered such a thing in the woods, in the wild, or in the desert. If you don't know what a skinwalker is, in Navajo culture, a skinwalker is a type of harmful witch who has the ability to turn into possessed or disguise themselves as an animal. Creepy, isn't it? But it's taken very seriously in Navajo culture, and lately some people have been capturing strange things on camera. No, 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 oh my god, what is it? And some believe it to be evidence of the existence of these skinwalkers. It's the case with that one cowboy TikTok account, a man who lives in the Arizona desert, very close to an Indian reservation. He started his TikTok account uploading random videos and he caught a lot of people's attention. The thing is, mixed with his funny, sometimes random videos, he uploaded these strange and unexplained encounters with something in the desert. Something that was apparently trying to draw his attention for some reason. After a couple of videos, people started suggesting that this could be a skinwalker. 
taking into consideration that he was very close to an Indian reservation. The thing is, things started to get creepy. This, for example, is his first video. In this video, his car apparently broke down and he had to stop in the middle of the road. This is when he hears a scream from what appears to be a girl. Stuck out here. Being that he works and lives in this area in Arizona for quite a long time, he knows exactly that it's not very smart to go out in the dark searching for whatever this was. So he gets back into his car and goes back home. But it doesn't stop there. It's as if from that day on, something started following him around. Being that he was recording daily videos for his TikTok account, which was growing very fast because of his funny and random videos. Let me open it up. So it's called Tea of a Kind. Mullet Deer Army, this is that one cowboy calling for a quick reaction force to get me to five. He sometimes zero, zero. used to capture these strange and bizarre phenomena on camera. And in this next video, this is exactly what happened. Check this out. He's coming in from planting those trail cameras. There's vultures everywhere. It's odd. After being posted, this video amassed 12 million views in just a few days. People were talking about it and it was featured on many YouTube channels. Most internet users noticed how the horse reacts to the strange sound and ran as quick as possible away from it. Others noticed how there were absolutely no sound whatsoever from birds chirping or anything like that, which most likely means that maybe there was something hiding there. Now, if this is a skinwalker or any other thing, it's very hard to say. However, what that one cowboy did was follow some of the advice from internet users and he actually bought a night vision camera and he started to gear up in hopes of finding out exactly what it was that was going on. If it was someone pranking him or if it was indeed something else. This is what happened next. In this video, we can see that one cowboy hightailing something that he saw in the middle of the night. He says that he saw fur and he stopped to chase it, which is not very intelligent for someone to do alone at night in the middle of nowhere. In this video, I see what appears to be tracks of some sort and when he points his flashlight to the bushes just in front of him, I believe I see something hiding there. I can hear it, but I can't see exactly what it is. At this point, I'm asking myself, and you're probably too, if that one cowboy isn't just obsessed that something's following him, or if indeed something is. However, things just keep amping up, and it gets creepier and creepier by the moment. Just saw, looked almost like a coyote, run right across here. That sounded like a kid or a goat. Whatever this thing is, it seems it's getting closer to where he lives. And this time he captures it while doing a live feed. Check this out. You hear that voice? The horse is looking over there. What is it, Gypsy? Shit. See, they are freaking out. They're hearing it. Everything points to the fact that there is something there, 
be it a coyote or something else. The horses are picking up on it, and in a very brave but not so intelligent move, that one cowboy goes into the night alone with a night vision camera to start recording things around his farm. This is what happened. Did you see it? There was something there hiding just a few feet away from him, watching him. It seems like it wasn't just an obsession. That one cowboy had a feeling and he might just be right about it. In his next encounter, when he was driving back home at night, this time without a night vision camera, he seems to see it and managed to capture it on camera for the first time. Check this out. Whatever this thing is, it doesn't look like a coyote. It looks like something that's following him around and is able to mimic different kinds of noises, including human beings. From what I understand, it could just be a skinwalker. What do you think? Is it really a skinwalker? Is it something else entirely? I'm not sure. I get this creepy feeling about it. What's your take? A couple of weeks ago, a very bizarre video surfaced the internet and was posted by Maria A. Aragon Facebook page. In this video, we can see a strange phenomenon that originates from what appears to be the sea, but this isn't the sea. This is actually the second biggest lake in the world. Lake Cosiboca, located in Puerto Morito in Nicaragua. Maria A. Aragon was next to this lake when this strange phenomenon started occurring and she wasn't the only one. Everybody got their cameras and started recording this bizarre event. This is what she caught on camera. <laughs> Locals at this town were baffled. They were trying to figure out if this was some sort of water spout or maybe something else. The fact is, they had never seen anything like this before and they continued on recording this mysterious phenomenon. By watching Maria's video, the first thing I thought was that this was some sort of volcanic activity coming from within the lake. Maybe a dormant volcano that became active and locals were not aware of it. This is when I found other videos by researching YouTube and other social platforms and it just became more and more mysterious. It didn't make sense. <laughs> After being posted to YouTube, Facebook and other social platforms, people all over the world were talking about these videos and no one knew exactly what was going on, not even locals who had never seen such a phenomenon. And by looking at some of these videos, it's not a water spot and it's not volcanic activity, so what's going on here? 
The thing is, the best theory was that this was a mosquito or an insect cloud. But I'm not too sure about it. It does look strange and it does look like it's originating from within the lake. Just so you know, in the past few years, it has been common for people to capture on camera what they believe to be a tornado and all of a sudden it's actually a mosquito or an insect cloud caused by flooding or rains that left a lot of water for these female mosquitoes to lay their eggs in stagnant water. But this is not the case here. This is a lake and the water is not still or stagnant. So what's going on here? I don't think this is it. So what's your take? What do you think happened in Puerto Morico, San Juan that particular day? If there's one mind-blowing phenomena that people are talking about all over social media, that would be unexplained videos or glitches. Now, some researchers do debate if we are living inside of some sort of simulation. Indeed, it can't be proven yet. Either the fact that we are or we aren't. The thing is, some of the videos that we're about to watch are very difficult to explain, so some people find it easier to just coin it as a glitch or a glitch in the matrix. The thing is, at some point in your life, something very similar or something like this happened to you. It usually happens to everyone. And 99% of times, there is an explanation. However, sometimes, there isn't. And this is the case with this first video that we're about to watch. I don't know exactly the origin of this video, but it seems it's a TikTok or doing one of those TikTok dance. And in the background, you can see a girl that apparently disappears. And another girl in blue that seems to have strange eyes. The video is creepy all over. It's full of things that I simply can't seem to explain. And internet users can't seem to explain either. So what's your take? What do you think is going on here? Is this a glitch in the matrix or is it something else? In this next video, a girl seems to find herself in a bit of a strange situation. This is what happens. She cuts a lemon in half and then she cuts it once more on each side. We can actually see it divided into half. Then she picks up the lemon and finds it strange. It's not cut. What the heck is going on here? She then cuts it once again and we can see the lemon isn't cut. What just happened here? Strange, isn't it? And she caught it all on camera thanks to a CCTV recording. In this case, I can't find an explanation to what is going on here. What's your take? It's amazing and quite strange how sometimes people go for urban explorations and end up capturing by chance a mysterious phenomena on camera. The thing is, it is very rare for something like this to happen, but well, sometimes it does. And it is the case with Steve Ballard YouTube channel went for an urban exploration with his friend Stuart and ended up capturing something chilling on camera. Both went to investigate the grain fort tunnels in Kent, England. The fort was built during the 1860s and survived two world wars, and later the fort was demolished, but the underground parts of the fort remained. And this is exactly where Stuart and Steve Ballard went to find out how it looked like and what was down there. Things started out as a normal exploration and they were inside one of the tunnels when all of a sudden the electronic equipment started failing for some mysterious reason. This is what happened. There had been candles, there were near candles in there, which I assume that these were these little hooks, yeah. perhaps to put candles on. Oh, oh my torch is just going out. That's charged. I'll charge it up today before I come out. That's weird. That's weird. That's close. 
Is that Clogan? Where? In front. No, no, it's... Uh, Oh, that. Yeah, that's yeah. They continue on the investigation throughout the tunnels normally when all of a sudden they notice a presence just in front of them. They turn off the flashlights and observe what appears to be a person crossing the hallway just in front of them from one side to the other. We can see this when they turn off the lights. It appears as if there's someone there. And that's why I saw, see, see the light on the wall there. Um, now let me just get my... That's, just, that's weird. See the light there? Yeah. Last time I was in here, I, I saw a shadow go past it. Let's turn it now. Look, watch. See it? That's gone. Yeah. It keeps going, it keeps going off. Yeah. It's almost like there's something going in front of that, in that light down there. Yeah. Scared, they now don't know exactly how to proceed, but they're brave enough to continue on the investigation. This is when things take a turn. Still inside one of the many tunnels of this old fort, Steve and his friend capture by accident what appears to be a shadow figure. It is a clear catch and no doubt, in my opinion, they got something that wasn't supposed to be there or didn't want to be seen. What is your take? Is this really a shadow person or is it maybe something else? Now, I don't know about you guys, but most people work at a computer desk. It's really common. Most people are closed inside of a room and they spend hours and hours looking at a computer screen, which is not exactly the healthiest thing for our eyes. There's one thing that we can do about it, and that's basically spending 10 to 15 minutes staring at the horizon or at the sky which actually relaxes the muscles and the eye and everything related to the optic nerves. To be honest, this is a really good excuse to stare at the sky in search for strange anomalies, phenomena, and objects that are not identified. Whoa, this is crazy. to get a better shot over here. If we go to social media, we'll find hundreds of videos of people who are staring at the sky and by chance captured some sort of strange or unexplained phenomenon. However, what's really rare is when these strange phenomena occur or originate from within the ocean. In this video posted to Facebook by Mysterios and Ufolo here, we can see a plane flying over a very beautiful beach in a sunny day. And it seems like a normal video, right? It's just a plane and a couple of people at the beach. But if you pay attention, you can see a strange object leaving the ocean towards the sky at a very fast rate. Did you see it? Well, you probably didn't. But let's slow the video down so you can see what I'm talking about. It looks like this object, whatever it is, leaves the ocean towards the sky at a very fast rate. And it could be categorized as an unidentified submerged object, a new SO, which are rare sightings. However, there are some videos out there of people who accidentally caught something like this. What's your take? What do you think is really going on here? And why are these objects coming from within our oceans? If there's one place where mysterious and unexplained things often occur, that would be Canada. And located in Ontario, in one of its 250,000 lakes, on Highway 17, east of the city of Dryden, there is a lake known by the name of Thunder Lake. 
Now a couple of weeks ago, Taylor Braden and a friend of hers were enjoying their time in Aaron Campground just next to Thunder Lake. They decided to go kayaking and this is when they captured something chilling on camera. This is what they saw. It's really big though, look yeah. at the way. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Taylor and her friend capture what appears to be a huge, unknown creature swimming just next to their boat. The creature is so big that you can clearly see the water trail behind it. This is what happens next. <laughs> this on videos yeah. I never thought <gasps> Holy oh, I'm shaking. luckily for Taylor and her friend this massive and huge creature is now swimming away from their boat and whatever this thing is you can see it now leaving a trail while it's turning towards another direction now I've never seen anything like this and I don't think it's a visual effect or the tides created by the lake or anything like that. I think this is something else. So this is the tide. This is the area we were at. And it, it was coming towards. It the was going this way against the tide. It came from here and went straight that way. And taking into consideration that Thunder Lake is completely surrounded by hundreds of other lakes, there could be caves connecting these lakes somehow, creating the perfect home for a monster creature like the Ogopogo. Doctor, what is the evidence on Ogopogo? Oh yes, Ogopogo. Well, um, I don't think there's any question that Ogopogo does exist, and uh, actually the evidence I have now the Ogopogo is supposedly a mythological creature that inhabits lakes in Canada and it has been sighted before. Okay, we're at uh, Okanagan Lake, is that the name of the lake? Yeah. And this is the Ogopogo. <laughs> Creatures like the Loch Ness Monster and the Ogopogo may not be just myths after all. They could be out there, taking into consideration that 86% of animal species are still unknown. Who knows what's out there? Have you ever seen anything like this and in your opinion, what did Taylor capture on camera that day? I'd say that throughout my life I've been a really big fan of sky watching and from all of my observations I've noticed that sometimes strange things occur, things that we can't easily explain. It's the case with this video that was posted by Tata Alex Orta on Facebook. He writes, check this out, me and my wife saw this yesterday. What appeared to be a thunderstorm approaching was actually something else. This is when Tata had the idea of fetching his camera to capture this bizarre phenomenon. And this is what he saw. And the bat. It's like going around in a circle above us. Yo, look at that. That's crazy. What appears to be a blinking circle of light can be seen just behind one of the clouds in Tata's video. But what makes this all really strange is the fact that this wasn't just in New Jersey and it wasn't just Tata that saw it. It appears that other people were seeing something similar too in different parts of the world. Alright, alright, we just found a friend here. What were you saying, brother? Let me get you over here. 
there was a there was a boat on the horizon. Yeah. And so you could see where the horizon was, and these things were like hovering above the above boat. It, you know, and like they were. Uh, at first, it was just two of them. Yeah. And then the third one faded in. And, and do you live here? I, yeah, I'm, I live in San Diego. So have you ever seen anything like this before? Never, man, in my life. Oh Never. yeah. There's five now. Whatever it is that people were seeing, it was showing up in different places all over the world. There it is. There it is. There it is. What the... Oh, wow. But this phenomenon wasn't just happening behind the clouds. A person noticed a star in Flathead Valley, Montana, when all of a sudden, what appeared to be a star started moving by itself. This is what he saw. Now it just stopped. It's like, is that even it? Or is that a star? <laughs> Dude, what is going on? No, that's like, that's it. It's floating still. It's floating. It's gonna f float back over the top of me here pretty soon. Yup. Wow. Wow, dude. Holy. I'm right next to a photo, dude. That's like a little bright light in the sky, dude. Like, oh wow, dude. Holy, holy. Whatever this mysterious phenomena is, I couldn't find much information after researching the internet. All I know is that these lights, they appear to be coming from behind the clouds. They don't seem to originate from some sort of light source on the ground. But I could be wrong. What's your take? Is this some sort of light trick? Or is it maybe something else? Well, this is it for now, but we do have more videos, don't forget to check them out. We also have a Discord channel and another YouTube channel for you to check out under the comments and under the, our description. If you want to send me emails with strange stories or videos, please do, thatimpossiblechannel at gmail.com. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on for more videos like this. Well, see you guys again.